Hey folks, Dad here with Elevation Diecast Racing. Got a new car that showed up at the track today, wanting to race. So, we're going to oblige him. We're going to run him down the track, and then we're going to weigh him in and run him against the case ranks in his respective weight class. Hey, you see what I see? 2083. We'll be right back. All right, he is in the 41 to 50 weight class. Well, let's see what he's got. All right, so you know I gotta race the real soldier out of here. It's my current gatekeeper. And I, I really think this is my toughest class, my fastest class. And he didn't do too bad. 12,000 feet though. 2088. And a 12,000 speed. Wow. All right. Well, the gatekeeper's out of there. And it's making for a pretty big B-side pile. So the question is, does this escort get dethroned? And if he does, is this car fast enough to make the top tier? Let's find out. Wow, well, that's an 8,000 speed. 2085 and a greater than 8,000 speed, or the Escort is bumped. Close race, but not close enough. So, let's see if Buzz has what it takes in the top tier. So the Mountain Dew Stalker is my current gatekeeper into the top tier rankings, which is made up of 39 cars. So, if he does make it in, it doesn't mean he's elite. He just means he's faster than his class. Let's see it. Oh yeah, he took him out. 2086 and a greater than 12,000 speed. Gotcha. So the Mountain Dew will be taking on that Escort. Cover your eyes, it's Claire Gunzer for spot 38. Oh yeah, Buzz just gapped her. Oh my Lanta, that Buick's gonna be racing that one. I'd rather have this Buick Stalker in there than an ugly Gunzer. But speed is speed, right? And the Buick with a 5,000 speed. Jeez, and that's why Claire Gunzer's in there. <laughs> that's why she's in there. Let's roll them again. 2086 and a 9,000 speed. Yeah. She's in. And she's staying in. But now at the gatekeeper spot. With Buzz running 2082s, let's see what he does to this guy. We'll have to play 1-2 skip a few. Oh yeah, he's running strong. Well, that's an 8,000 speed. 2086 and greater than 8. Hmm. 2086 and greater than 6. Oh yeah, he got him. Running strong in the other lane is a good sign. This should be a good matchup <clears throat> for the number 33 spot in the top tier. Good race. Two one thousands difference. Buzz gonna have to go to the inside lane and do that again. Oh, and he does it and gets a one more thousand, two more thousand speed. This race right here may carry traveling implications. <sighs> That's close. 2085 and a 2000 speed advantage by the Mercedes. Yeah, the Mercedes is going to get him too. So that's where the buck will stop. Mercedes AMG. Yes, sir. All right, let's see if this Buick Stalker can take out this fresh court. 
Mmm. 10,000 speed by the escort. Switch lanes. Pretty close. 10 thousandths of a beat. That's close. Oh yeah, escort all day. So, let's see where he'll land in the ranks. Can he beat the number 10 Mercedes? Oh yeah, 9 thousandths beat. 2095 hmm. Okay, let's see if you can take out the QVC Ooh, tie ball game 2098 at 10,000 feet by the QVC Ooh 2097 and a way bigger beat. Let's see if you can beat the fourth ranked original bird. Nope. That bird's fast. Oh yeah. And getting faster. Let's see how he does against the Bullseye MX48. MX will get him by six thousands like that. Oh wow, <laughs> MX getting him by 10 thousands and a 2088. So he's up or down from the first Corvette. Good race, but the vet by a 10 thousandths. Corvette takes him. Corvette takes him, good run though. So another stalker falling out of the top tier and to the seventh position in the 41 to 50 weight class. We like when the ranks get faster. Certainly when they get into the top tier. If this top tier is getting faster, that means my ranks are getting faster and we're building. It takes time to get some rank. But it does come if you keep at it. That's all I got for you tonight. I appreciate it if you've hung out for these eight minutes. Never know what else will come across. If your car isn't fast, at least it'll look good on the shelf.